October 22nd, 2017. What you are looking at is something that is thought to have been made extinct over 100,000 years ago. It's called Gigantopithecus. Um, you might be looking at it and saying, well, it looks like a gorilla or an orangutan. Um, Gigantopithecus was the largest uh, of the great apes. It was massive. It stood up to 10 feet tall and weighed almost 1,200 pounds. They have found fossils in all in the Far East, Vietnam, China, down through Southeast Asia. They believe that it ate mostly fruit and bamboo and was basically vegetarian, um, but gigantic. It dwarfed the size of a full-grown gorilla and substantially dwarfed any humans that have ever lived. Well, maybe I should not say that, um, but that's a topic for another video. Anyway, Gigantopithecus had always hit me because I've always been a Bigfoot um, enthusiast. You know, I, I've always had this innate curiosity as to why people would think Bigfoot does not exist. Um, and then as I really got into anthropology and started studying human origins and saw that there was this creature which looks exactly as people describe Bigfoot to look, um, well, you know, wouldn't this likely be it or its ancestor? Um, it just would seem to make so much sense because we actually have bones of Gigantopithecus. We have remains. We know, you know, through DNA that, you know, this thing existed and it's, it's supposedly a dead end on the human uh, great ape family tree. Um, so these are just fascinating creatures. We don't know how intelligent they were. They had gigantic heads, uh, very large brains. Um, they believe that it was too big to actually be able to climb trees. Um, there are thoughts that human ancestors probably actually contribute to the death of it by ganging up on it and using tools as weapons to kill it, um, to kill them off as they were threats. As you can see in this uh, painting, uh, trying to replicate that. I do find it fascinating that every single culture around the world talks about giants, and they talk about different types of giants. There are these hairy giants, like a Bigfoot, a Yeti, a Sasquatch, a Skunk Ape, Gigantopithecus. And then there are giants that are completely human. Um, and just just larger without all the hair and the fur and being more like a great ape. Um, when we check out Wikipedia on it, you know it gets into some of the details. Again, it's it's now known for sure because we've gotten fossils of them from China, India, Vietnam, um, and I've heard some other locations over there in the east, like Thailand and and that area. Um, it's something that was first discovered in 1935. And it was actually being sold uh, as a powder. They would grind up the teeth of Gig Gigantopithecus into a powder, and they were being used in some branches of traditional Chinese medicine, which is pretty fascinating. Um, but they found a lot of molars in a cave in China uh, that they knew was something that was definitely... Um, humanoid, but uh, they, what they assume to be extinct. Um, Gigantopithecus blackie, blackie um, is the formal classification, um, and it was definitely the largest of the great apes. Um, they thought that it existed at least a million years ago, and then they figured it went extinct around 100,000 years ago. Um, and it was a contemporary with anatomically modern humans. So it was around when Homo sapiens are around. Do you think possibly we could have legends going back 100,000 years of giants and we're thinking of this? Um, or is it something much more recent? Or did these not actually go extinct 100,000 years ago? You know, perhaps in striking populations, they still exist. Uh, perhaps, you know, they're genetically different now. Perhaps they've evolved and are slightly different than they were back then, but still existing in, in different parts of the globe. It, it just seems like, to me, this would be an obvious perfect fit 
for Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, you know, the like of those type of creatures. Um, unfortunately, we have no pelvic or leg bones, um, so we don't know exactly if they stood perfectly upright or if they moved more like a gorilla. Did they walk more like a man or, or a gorilla? We, we truly don't know. And even if it did walk more like a gorilla back then, perhaps it would have adapted and, and changed, you know, going up to our time. But, um, fascinating, fascinating, and it just seems so obvious to me. And this is not something that is, you know, woo-woo or fringe. I mean, this is a scientific fact. It did exist. They think it went uh, out, you know, went extinct because it was probably hunted out, and also because it was. They just say simply, it was so big. If there was ever any times when food was short, it would not be able to survive uh, because of its bulk, you know, which was working against it. Now, we do know that the dinosaurs were en enormous, you know, compared to what animals and creatures are alive on the planet now, besides whales and and uh, elephants. You know, uh, there were so many dinosaurs that were just enormous, but they went extinct too, probably because of a asteroid, volcanoes going off, or a comet hitting. Um, different reasons, but again, this is what they think. They think that it went extinct because of a time of um, starvation, and then also being hunted off like we hunted off the saber-toothed tigers and the woolly mammoths. And this just gives you some idea of exactly how big it would be compared to a human. And it just is so striking compared to all the Bigfoot reports that we see. I'm sure if you were walking in the woods and you saw something like this, it would <laughs> definitely stick in your mind. And this is a book uh, where exactly what I'm talking about, the author Mark Hall is talking about you know, are they still alive? You know, are giant primates, larger than gorillas, taller than uh, Sasquatch and Yeti, still ex still existing? So he thinks that Gigantopithecus is separate from Sasquatch and Yetis, but along the same family tree. And it could be. Um, it could be that Gigantopithecus is what Sasquatch, Yetis, and uh, skunk apes down here in Florida come from. And it is interesting, they do vary in size. Like with skunk apes in Florida, typically they're reported as being smaller. Six or seven feet um, is kind of typical. Whereas if you're in the Pacific Northwest and you're talking Bigfoot, it's common to get eight foot reports, nine foot, even taller. Um, and then the same thing out in the Himalayas. In the Himalayas, again, they're larger. And then when you get to Southeast Asia, um, they're again smaller in the more tropical areas. Here you can see the skull of a human, a modern human, gorilla, and then a Gigantopithecus. And this is a replica done up from existing fossils that we've gotten of jaw bones and different parts of the face to give you a, an idea of how incredibly huge this thing was. Again, comparing it to Chewbacca, my favorite person in Star Wars. You can see Chewbacca would be tiny compared to a Gigantopithecus blackie. And this is an actual jawbone. And here again, picture of a modern six foot tall human next to a Gigantopithecus. So it was acknowledged, even Richard Leakey, um, you know, acknowledged that it existed and he along with some other scientists, you know, moved it out of the line. At one time they thought that it was probably an ancestor of ours, even. Um, but they now think it's on a separate line from us, divergent from what we came from. And these are some examples of some teeth. And again, some photos giving you a size difference. Gorilla, human, Gigantopithecus. They would be so large that even bears would be afraid of them, and even tigers and lions, if they were around them, would, would be afraid of them. And there's a picture of the famous Roger Patterson uh, video. And this is a female Sasquatch. And, you know, some people have debunked it, but then I've also seen some people 
that our experts in the gait of humans and animals say that no this is definitely something unique and uh, they didn't think it was human but there's so many different Bigfoot reportings there have been tens of thousands of Bigfoot reportings so there's there has to be something out there what it is we don't exactly know now looking at family tree this has given you the um, human family tree where you can see where we're up here and uh, this one does not have Gigantopithecus so that would be off on its own branch um, but just to let you know how things are going I mean if you looked at a family tree from say 20 30 years ago it would have everything stop in here you know and now everything gets pushed back and back and back um, like Lucy here who is an Australopithecus now if you've watched my other video I had put up um, where we're gonna have to rewrite everything they just found teeth in Germany of Australopithecus in Germany which you know completely uh, counteracts the out of Africa theory because the teeth that they just dated and they waited a whole year to give this this info just to make sure um, are almost 10 million years old so the thought was that Australopithecus came out about 3 million years ago from Africa and now we find teeth of Australopithecus in Germany and Europe where it shouldn't be at all um, and it's dated 9.7 million years ago so it's it's almost three times farther back so it's completely rewritten everything we thought we knew um, and that's really what we're finding the more findings we have are not confirming what we thought they're actually making us rethink things time and time again so if you grew up in the you know 60s or the 70s 80s even everything that you taught is we're taught is pretty much wrong it's it's in, inaccurate um, and right now even you know we, we still truly don't know so many things have been hidden so many things that were incongruous you know simply got shipped to the Smithsonian and then tucked away somewhere in a corner because hmm they don't make sense uh, we don't know what to do with them let's get rid of them or if you are a conspiracy nut as I've been accused of being um, you know it's done on purpose because they don't want the true story coming out about our human origins so what do you think about Gigantopithecus what do you think about our cousin is is it really something that's long gone or do you think possibly this is Bigfoot or Bigfoot and Sasquatch is a uh, relative and Gigantopithecus is the ancestor of what we now have on the planet. It's fascinating because really, you know, there's legends of it from all over the globe. So many of these legends are universal and they are usually based in truth. The deeper you go, you'll find that these things have a, a grain or more than a grain of truth in them. Well, thank you so much. I hope I've uh, stirred up some interest for you more videos coming on this type of subject please subscribe to the channel so you get all the newest updates and if you did like this content please go ahead and hit the like button thank you so much for your support we truly truly appreciate it and we can't wait to see you again take care